Hey everybody, welcome back to Cook It With James. I am your host, James. Today, another simple and delicious cook, and we have a new seasoning. I got some stuff sent to me uh, from one of my buddies, and these seasonings I've been using for years. You are going to want to try them. They are heaven-made products. Um, some of my other subscribers have used them. Um, but anyway, I'll, I'll get into that in, uh, in a little bit, but what we're doing today is a pork loin on the Ninja Foodie Smart XL Grill. So let's go ahead and get into the cook. All right guys, so this is what we got today. And it's gonna be easy, but super delicious. I just wanna show you what I got. So Hormel, it is uh, pork loin, and it's about a pound and a half. And you can buy these pretty much every grocery store. And you can use the same recipe on a tenderloin, whatever, we just got a, uh, a pork loin here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it out of the wrapper and uh, we'll uh, be right back and, and season it up. All right, so we got it unwrapped. And the first thing you wanna do is when you get it out, just give it a quick rinse, you know, pat it dry just a little bit. And um, the next thing we're gonna do is, so we got the, the top side of the loin up. Now go in with some, uh, I love this avocado oil, but use any high heat oil. Um, vegetable, canola, or canola, there's other ones out there. I'm using uh, the avocado, but give it a good uh, spray on the top just to, just to cover it. And then we're not gonna season the top yet. We're actually going to flip it over. I'll wash my hands. All right, so on the other side, we're not gonna use any oil at all. So, and I'll tell you why here in a little bit, but we're gonna season it up. And we're gonna go in with Heaven Made Products. It's incredible. And we're also gonna use Heaven Made Products. The, um, what is it, the Texas Best Rare Rub. So, I am going to leave a link in the description below where you can go purchase this stuff. You have to. Out of anything, you must, you must get this because this is a 100% game changer. This is awesome. All right, so you can see we got the uh, everything seasoned up and the color looks amazing and remember we only got one side seasoned up and i will tell you why here shortly but uh, these two seasonings are amazing the heaven made products i'll leave a link below to check those out all right so what we're going to do is meet you at the air fryer see you in a minute all right so here we are at the ninja foodie smart XL grill um, i'm working with the uh, grill grate inside and all we're gonna do, first thing, is go ahead and turn it on. Grill, max, start, there we go. We're gonna let it preheat, we'll be right back with you. All right, so we are done with preheating. As you can see, it says add food. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the top, and that thing is screaming hot. We got our uh, pork one here. Now we got the seasoned side, and the other side is not seasoned, all right? So we are going to, or we add some oil to the other side. Now what we want to do is we're trying to get some grill marks. Um, actually, a little bit of season seep through, but anyway, we're going to put this down over here, the oil side, and put it right down there. All right, let me close the top. And actually, it will set for 10 minutes. We're going to give it five minutes, and we'll be right back with you. See you in a minute. All right, guys, we're counting down. Three, two, one, zero. And it does say flip. So it's been five minutes. So check this out. All right. So I already got a little bit of crust going on here, which is awesome. Now we're going to flip it over, put it right in the middle. And it did we achieve some grill marks? Oh, baby. Yes, we did. Look at that. Awesome. So we're going to stick this thing right in the middle. Now the grill marks are just for presentation, but it also sears, you know, part of that meat. So what we're going to do now is I've got a little bowl of water. All right. Let's get this thing turned over just a little bit, actually. Well, let me turn it around so you guys can see a little better. There we go. 
just like that. And uh, so I got a little bowl of water and a little, let's see, brush here. And we're just going to brush the top of this with some water. Yes, we have a bunch of steam and all kinds of stuff. No big deal. Just get some water all over it. And all this is for is to help the seasoning stick. Now you want to re-season it. Or not re-season, but season this side. Some water on there. That looks good to me. <clears throat> now go in with your seasoning. The first thing we're using is it's incredible. You guys have got to get some of this. The link will be in the description below. Go ahead and coat that. You cannot use too much of this. It's impossible. Um, it's just, there's, it's so awesome. We're going with that. And then we're going to go also with the heaven made products with the real, here we go, rib rub. And that's going to be in the description below. Actually, the link to their website will be in there. So we're going to get that. And we're all good to go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to close this up. Now we're going to completely turn this off. All right, we're going to turn it back on and we're actually going to be using um, the thermometer now. So we are going to plug that into the side. We're going to use the bake function. We are going to be baking at 325 and we're going to hit the manual function. Our target temperature right here is going to be 140 degrees. All right, so go ahead and hit start. It's gonna start. Open it up. Go ahead and put your thermometer right in the middle. Make sure it's right in the middle. Go ahead and close it up and we're good. Once the middle hits 140 degrees, we will be done. See you then. All right, sorry guys. One thing I forgot to mention is after you go to the, uh, you turn it off, back on, you go to the bake function and you set your target temperature or whatnot, when you close the lid, it's not gonna show the internal temperature of the meat. What you have to do is just open the lid and close it real quick because it's like it's reheating again. And then it'll show the internal temperature of the meat. And I just get it right now. Um, so anyway, we're at 60 degrees internal temperature. Once it gets to 140 degrees internal, it'll shut off automatically. So we'll see you then. All right, guys, so sorry I, I missed the uh, final point where it was about to be 140 degrees and shut off, and I opened it up, and it was done, and I stopped it, so it's resting. So it reached an internal temperature of 140 degrees, so it's resting. So now this is what we got. Um, I would say that looks amazing. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and take it off, let it actually rest off of this for about 10 to 15 minutes, and cut into it. See you in a minute. All right, guys, so this is what we ended up with. And uh, there's juices coming out. I can't really tip it, but how awesome is that? You serve that at the dinner table. I mean, presentation is great. When you're cooking for a family, I guess it really don't matter, but it looks good. And let's see how it turned out. So we're gonna go right down the middle of this. And the see, oh, oh man. Ooh, it's still steaming. Oh, you know you got the juices down here, so you know there's juices flowing. We're gonna cut these into not thin, but you know, fairly thin slices, and take a look, see what we got. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to taste this. I mean, oh, it's still hot, maiming. And as far as the juices go, I mean, well, you can see the juices on it. And let's take a bite. Mmm. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Mmm. That is soft and tender. Mmm. That is delicious. Hey, those seasonings were amazing on this. It's incredible. Look, in this video, um, there's going to be a link. You can get a discount on those uh, on those seasonings. Oh my goodness, that is absolutely perfect. Ooh, baby! Mmm, mmm. All right, don't miss 
We'll catch you up top. I got something else for you. See you in a minute. All right, guys, we're finished with the cook, and I gotta say, this turned out absolutely phenomenal. Look, check the link in the description below for Heaven Made Products. It is absolute fire. Um, there's a whole lineup. Um, this is my number one. I got a whole bunch other to use, but with this pork loin, that and this, um, you gotta use it. Now, when you go to the link below, there's also, they sent me a promotional code where you can get a little bit of a discount. But I'll tell you what, I gotta be careful with this. I mean, oh, you, oh, d d fire, absolute greatness. Nobody would be like, um, that's not a good wine. It's perfect, absolutely. So anyway, that's how you do a pork loin on the uh, Ninja Foodie Smart XL Grill. So if you're new to the channel, please think about subscribing if you like the content. Make sure to give a thumbs up, leave an awesome comment. And with that being said, we'll catch you on the next cook. Thanks for watching.